Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. I uh, just thought we would come in here and do a get ready with me. It's going to be a really quick one. I'm going to basically do the same thing I did for Jamie, the kind of natural and, you know, you know. And, but I did, I, I'm going to use that L'Oreal Paradise Skin Paradise again because I really liked this color but it didn't quite have as much coverage as I'd like, so I'm going to add just a tiny bit of the NARS Complete. I think that's what it is, Complete something. Can't remember, but it's not the NARS Tinted Moisturizer. This is the actual Soft Matte Complete Foundation. And it is in Santa Fe Medium 2. And this is in Medium 2. So I'm just gonna put just a tiny bit of this in here and still use it like a tinted moisturizer. And hopefully it will still not sink into lines and not move around, because that's what I really like. So I'm gonna get started. I'm probably not gonna talk. I'm not gonna tell you or show you. I mean, I'm gonna try to remember to show you, but if I forget, it'll be listed below what I used. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, that's my quick and easy get out the door and go to town look. Hey guys, okay, I decided to show you what I got since I completely got lost in my book on tape 
and forgot to record anything while I was gone. So I just thought I would come home and show you what I got. I got from the grocery store coffee pods. I needed coffee pods. I got toasted coconut. This is the great value brand. And these are not the, like the mixes. These are the actual coffee in the coffee pods. I got toasted coconut and creamy hazelnut. Since I mostly drink black coffee during the week, those are the ones I like. Um, I also got Philadelphia cream cheese in chive and onion and great value cream cheese spread in garden vegetable. I love these with bell peppers. I just use a bell pepper to dip them and oh my gosh, it's so good. And I feel healthy doing it, even though it's probably not healthy. Um, this, my husband and my son love. It's the Great Value brand. I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't look like you can, but it's blueberry cheesecake. It's ice cream. Um, I've had it too. It's delish. Um, tonight, I don't know if I told you or not, but we are making taquitos and hopefully I will record that for you. I use the canned chicken to make the meat. They're going to be chicken taquitos. And then I don't know, and I'm using, I'm doing this because my son, I told him to get tortillas the other day because we were having fish tacos and he got, he was at Sam's Club. So he got, this is like two thirds of what's left of the, and this is like two thirds of it. And then it had another third and there were two of these in the package. So we're having taquitos because that's the best way I know to use up some of these tortillas. I froze the other half. I hope that freezing it's okay. Anyways, we're having taquitos tonight. We're having chicken taquitos and guacamole, of course. And so I bought some avocados and I don't know if I've showed you guys how I make my, my guacamole, but basically I just scoop out the avocado, squish it up, add sour cream, salsa, chopped up onions, um, seasoning salt, pepper. I think that's it and stir it up and call it good. And I don't squish the avocado completely. I like to have a little bit of chunkiness in there. So that, we're having that with our taquitos. I bought a bag of, one of these ones guys, because not very many people eat this. I don't eat rice, so I got the Spanish rice and we're having Spanish rice and beans with our taquitos. Um, also, at the grocery store, oh, I've been wanting to try, sweet potato fries, frozen sweet potato fries. So I got the great value kind. And then I got this one that was a, like 75 cents more. It's the non-GMO Alexia sweet potato fries with sea salt. That's why I got these because it said with sea salt and I'm gonna put them in my air fryer. I don't think I showed you guys, but I got a new air fryer. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can. It's right here. Isn't it awesome? It's super cool. So far, but I made french fries in it the first night with like real potatoes. They didn't turn out very good. So I, at first I thought I was gonna end up taking it back, but then I've made chicken nuggets in it and stuff and chicken, um, frozen chicken mesquite fillets that weren't breaded for me and they were great. So my, my son said, don't take it back until you try frozen fries. And since I really don't like to eat potatoes because they make me fatter, um, I thought sweet potato fries, if they make them in frozen, would be great. So that's what I got. Some sweet potato fries to try. My husband loves this popcorn. So as you can see, I got two of those. I also got him some of these. He does not need these, but if I don't get these, he'll eat something else. So I got them. And what we have discovered lately. Oh, I forgot something. Hold that thought. Okay, so I don't drink as a rule, but every once in a while I get this wild hair and think, I'm gonna have a cocktail, but I don't want anything that actually tastes like alcohol, and I don't want anything with a huge kick to it because I don't wanna be drunk ever. But sometimes I just think I need to have be an, you know, adulting and have a drink. So anyways, we discovered this, and I saw this and I'm like, okay, it must be time because Seriously, this is called Blue Chair Bay Rum. And this is the key lime flavor. And it's made with cream. And I mix it with um, 
vanilla almond milk. It is so good. It is so good. And then I got this one too. This is the banana flavored banana rum cream. And I mix it with dark chocolate almond milk. It's so good. You could definitely get hooked on it. So, but luckily these are 20 bucks a bottle. So I won't be getting hooked on those. Anyways, that's all I got from the grocery store. So I also got a PR package that I did, wanted to do an unboxing for. Um, I will be doing a review of it. This is from an Amazon seller. This is Born Pretty. I'm sorry, it's, this is called Born Pretty. Professional Nail Art. And what they sent me is, it's a collection of gel nails, uh, polishes, gel polishes, which is great because that's what I would want. And these, the color is like nude pink or nude transparent. I don't know, but I will know when I do the review, I'll know the names of them. Aww. They come in white bottles, so you can't really tell the colors, but they look, I'll put a picture right here of the colors that it comes with. Color coat, color coat, color coat. Color coat, color coat. So there's six colors in here. Anyways, I'll get all the information on this. We can just kind of look at it, I guess. If I can get them out. Maybe not. Can't get them out, sorry. You don't get to see them. There. That worked. Okay, let's see. But I will put a picture up because I did see a picture. Let's see if you can see what color this one is. Ooh, it's pink. Can you see the pink? This one is like a nudie pink. Like a mauvey pink. They don't have the names on them. This one's like a nude color. You'll be able to see better when I post the picture that is on their website. I'll also put a link in the description box of this product and their website. So pretty. One of these was supposed to be purple, I think. So maybe I just didn't shake it or something or I just can't see that far away they all look kind of pinkish to me but they're all like um a nude color of the of it oh they're so pretty anyways like i said i will put a link in the description box and i will also be doing a review of these of I'll probably go ahead and polish like a bunch of the nails with each color and then put a set on. So, anywho, let's move on. Next, I need to get this ice cream put away anyways. I'm gonna show you the shoes I found for my husband. He has to have um, leather uppers because everything comes with those net that nylon mesh stuff and it's awful he just can't he goes through those so fast they just blow out anyways i got these these are nikes and they are the air monarch and they're completely leather all over them and i was so excited because guess what my jc pennies is not closed i thought it was but my Macy's is gone. That's how long it's been since I've been in the mall. But I'm so excited that my JCPenney's is still there. And the, I was talking to the, the sales rep, the sales guy that I was getting the shoes from. And he said they were told that, that it's not gonna close. But I mean, walking through our mall, almost all the stores are gone. And he said, yeah, that they raise the rent prices, which seems kind of stupid to me. In the middle of a pandemic, you raise the price. 
people barely can stay afloat as it is. Anyway, <laughs> I just thought I'd let you know that I still have a JCPenney's and there's a Sephora inside it and I didn't even know it. I mean, I knew that it was there, but when I drove up, it's like they locked the doors on that side of the parking lot so there was no cars and if you go up, it looks like it's completely closed. There's signs on the door. I didn't read what the sign says. I just assumed they said that they were closed. Here's the other one I got for him. It is also the Air Monarch and it is also all leather and these are the only two they had at Penny's. They were on sale for $59 a pair, which I had went to the shoe department, I think is the name of that big shoe store in the mall. It was like the only thing left at that end of the mall and they were $65 there. So I went ahead and got them at JCPenney's. Anyways, that's it for my haul. So I will be back when we are ready to make the taquitos. <music> for our taquitos. The first thing you do is I'm going to use three cans of this canned white meat chicken and I've drained the juice off of two of them and then I leave the juice for one just to keep it from burning to the bottom while I heat it up. And then I take a fork and I just kind of smoosh it up so that it's like shredded chicken instead of chunky chicken. And then I go in and I add just a little bit of seasoning salt. Not too much because it seems like it's already a little salty. And I'd rather have not as much as too much. So I don't add very much. And that's really all I add to the chicken. And then I'm going to put this on the stove and let it warm up and cook out that juice. This little pan and I'm going to run these tortillas through some oil and just make a plate full. I'm just going to run it real quick. I'm going to warm up the oil. It's just to make them soft so that you can roll up the chicken in the tortillas. And then we'll come back and we'll start rolling. I also forgot to add a large can. This is the, it's a seven ounce can of green chilies to my meat. This is what it looks like. That's just the chicken, the green chilies, and a little bit of seasoning salt. And then I let most of the juice cook out. And then I just put some on a plate like this so it can cool off a little bit because you're not going to be able to handle it if it's too hot. And then spread it out so it'll cool. These are my tortillas that I've already ran through oil and you start rolling and then I put them on something like this. This is just a lid to one of my square plastic pots, but I use it as a tray because we're going to then move them over there and start frying them. But you just take, you know, a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons per taquito. You spread it out. Don't get it too close to the end because it's going to fall out if you do. And then you just roll it up tight as you can get it to go. Stick a toothpick in it like that and put it over there. And they're still hot. Even these are still hot. But see, it already fell out the end. So I really need to let this cool a little bit more because it's burning my fingers. And then, ow, yeah, those chilies are hot. Okay, we're gonna let it cool a little more and then I'll come back and show you. This is what the taquitos look like when they're cooked. After they're all done, we pull out all the... I am finishing the guacamole. This is what I meant by I don't smush it all the way. There's still a bunch of chunks in there. Then I just add some salsa. It's a lot of salsa. And a dollop of sour cream. And then just put 
a dollop of sour cream, a little seasoning salt, not too much. Stir it up and you're good. Look at that. Such a messy cook. So that is how the guacamole looks and that's it. Taquitos and guacamole. I'm gonna cook up this Spanish rice and call it done. So I will leave the recipe below or the how to, because it's not really a recipe. And I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Stay cool.